Welcome back everyone for another test. Um, today we will be testing um, Immunet um, Community Antivirus and it's going to go up against Adaware Free Antivirus. So for um, Immunet on the left we did update it to the latest version 7.5. We were still on version 7.4.4 I think. So let's quickly look at Immunet. Okay, so for the settings, um, these are all the settings. So for the um, ethos, as you guys can see, um, it states that um, it's the um, heuristic based engine. So it's their own engine that they developed. Um, it does use the CLAM um, AV engine as well, but this is their own heuristic analysis type of engine. And then Spiro um, is their AI type of engine, if I'm not mistaken. Um, cloud engine that detects threats based on machine learning. Yeah, so that's the um, the um, type of technology as well. So CLAM AV, all of that. Um, auto, um, so the detections are set to automatic, and then scans are set to packed and archive files. Um, we're only going to do cloud notifications. And send files to um, Immunet is enabled as well. And that's about it for um, Immunet. That's all that you can actually change. Um, you guys can see it's connected to the Immunet cloud. So for um, Adaware, um, um, I've disabled the real time shield um, for Adaware um, in the meantime just to save a bit of time. But there's actually not that much that you can actually change. We'll see if we re enable it. So we go to advanced settings. Okay, so we set it to a quarantine, um, the action automatically, um, scan archive, scan emails, deep scan, smart scan, scan boot sectors, and scan network files. Um, and we um, turned off um, that, so it can actually scan the large files. For web protection, that is for the pro version, or paid version, email as well, and network protection. Um, is set for the paid versions and we did say threat work um, alliance has been enabled and that's pretty much that for um, adware not much that that you can actually change so i'm just going to disable it again um, we're going to extract the malware um, we have quite a bit of samples that that we need to test and then we'll um, and start the test Okay guys, so all the malware has been extracted. Um, as you guys can see, we have quite a bit of samples. I don't realize it's gonna be this many as well. Um, seems like all the new malware samples I'm down downloading has more malware within the zip. So I'll see how this is gonna go. We have quite a bit of samples. Um, let's just quickly make sure that these products are up to date. Okay, so all programs are up to date. Um, I'm just gonna quickly enable all the protection. And then you guys will see I made two exclusions myself, obviously for the script and for Process Explorer, just in case Immunet might not like Process Explorer running. And that's about that. Okay, so let's quickly look at Adaware. So Adaware is already starting to remove threats. Okay, so as you guys can see, everything is on. I think I'm gonna start the test of Adaware. It's already removing threats. Okay, um, let's just wait for this to finish, guys, because I can see Adaware is already giving us pop-ups. I'm gonna wait for Munet, but I'll let you guys know when the test is done.
it everyone so i let the test uh, finish for them both although i did start to see some ransomware infection um so for um adware while i'm here um only seems to be 121 samples left and then for um immune net let's quickly have a look see uh, still a thousand seven hundred twelve, but it most probably will remove a lot of them when we do the scans. Um, so this is a good example again that I've uh, um, that I've tried to bring across is if you if you look at the results, there's only 121 samples of over a thousand. I think it was or no, it was just over two thousand samples. So good malware r removal rate. Um, only 121 samples left but this machine is utterly destroyed so for me um, it's more about the protection than the detection um, so something gave us a nice little reddish polka dot <laughs> background and obviously something has modified the INI file for the desktop because we can see it so some system changes has been made um, there is ransomware infection as you guys can see but it's not the same ransomware um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly reboot these machines um, I'm gonna start the full scans I'm gonna leave them overnight so that they can run um, and then once they're done we'll look at the results and then uh, reboot and start the third party opinion scans so we are back so we're going to quickly have a look at the results so for um, immune net it seems like a quarantine 2902 samples um, just going to close that and then for adware um, I can't actually see the total amount maybe I'm missing it no I can't see the total amount but um, so let's say quarantine. Okay, so it's busy quarantining these threads. I just want to see how many threads are left in the folder. Okay, so we've still got 277, which is not too bad. I'm um, going to quickly restart this machine. Okay, let's just wait for Adobe to quarantine this malware and then we'll um, restart this machine and start the third party opinion scans. Okay, so Adobe wants to reboot through the program. I just wanted to show you guys this, so we'll do that through the program. And once it's done, we'll start the scans. Okay guys, so we are at the end of this test. Um, I waited a bit for the third party scans to run, but there are some problems with them. Um, it's been stuck on 149 for quite some time, so I'm just gonna cancel the scan. Same for um, MSISoft, it's still stuck on that, scan, uh, on, on that file. Okay, so obviously it couldn't find any file because I think it was only on, st on phase two. So let's look at the results. Okay, so a bit more infection or files found for the um, immune net machine. 
okay so we have a couple of there's a registry entry couple of things here okay a couple of things in the temp files malware okay so we got quite a bit of, of um, results for the um, adware uh, not that many it removed a lot more malware from the folder so it looks like signatures might be a bit better than um, immunets okay we will close that Okay, so now we can look at the malware points. Okay, so there's malware in the recycle bin. That's fine. Uh, program data. App data. Okay, a couple of scheduled tasks and then we have quite a bit of registry keys so definitely not good and then we have an MBR um, exploit these ones are really hard to get rid of okay so program files app data as well couple of registry keys looks like there's a couple of more registry keys here but no MBR modification oh and this the this is the results for Norton I actually forgot that I did a scan of this one so yeah also not looking good Okay, so these are the startup items for Adware, just waiting for Immunit. Okay, so we've got a couple of startup items. Okay, so we definitely have more startup items. <laughs> Yo, we <laughs> actually have quite a bit, yeah. Um, Well, yeah, but we definitely got a couple of startup items. Okay, let's have a look at our documents, downloads, downloads is infected, documents are infected, and pictures are infected. Just waiting for Munit to open up. Okay, so let's have a look at our documents. Oh, sorry, downloads. Um, okay, so we actually have our documents. And we have partial pictures. Okay, so it seems like a minute actually did a bit better. Um, yeah, okay guys, so pros and cons. Um, cons is definitely ransomware infection, not really good protection. Um, especially when exposed to high high volume or high amounts of malware um, and it's obviously community based so um, there's not that much support I think and money behind it so um, yeah um, considering it is a community based AV it actually yeah I wouldn't say it actually did not do that bad but yeah obviously not good results but pros i would say at least we have documents and the majority of our pictures only some of the pictures were lost so at least that is a good thing but cons also was there's a bunch of startup items then for um adware um at least it um and let's maybe start with the cons first obviously um, ransomware infection all the data has been encrypted uh, documents desktop 
um, so the machine is basically have destroyed um, at least the only con that I can think of it it, it kept the wallpaper <laughs> at least at least the test wallpaper is not being changed but yeah uh, definitely not good results for Adaware um, at least it has less startup items but I would rather say um, Immunet and this one did better for me be in uh, um, in the only way of um, we have documents and we have about 70 to 80 percent of the pictures that's still intact so at least that's the only reason why i would say um, immune did better did better for me um, if it was encrypted with that amount of startup items there's no way that it did better i would say adaware did better um, but they are they're, they're both infected these machines are definitely not trustworthy so I would say immune it did a bit better but it didn't do well at all either so yeah so you guys can make your own conclusion um, let me know what you guys thought about this test if any of you guys use these products or know of someone that that does um, let me know and we can chat about it but yeah until the next time I'll see you guys soon